I really like walking around and seeing all the other artwork that comes out of the district and pointing out all, like, oh, I've seen that piece. Oh, somebody I know painted that, you know? So that's kind of cool. And I can see other people's ideas as well as my own. Like sometimes when you're left alone with your own ideas, you kind of like sink into it. But when you're able to see other people's ideas, it kind of like makes you more open-minded and say, hey, maybe I could try something like this. Or you could take bits and pieces from them and put them together and create something completely original. We continue the district's spring art exhibit series with the work of Irving's high school artists. Tonight you'll have a little bit of everything. You'll have painting, you'll have drawing, you'll have fibers, you'll have sculptures, ceramics, you'll have digital media, photography, um, you name it, you're gonna have just about every category of art. As the students progress, their art begins to have more meaning. Well, I have a drawing and a painting. A uh, drawing is a self-portrait. It's titled Nirvana. It's uh, a graphite uh, self-portrait. I'm sort of looking like this, like it's a, uh, the assignment was to sort of convey a feeling of comfort, and so I, you know, put a happy sort of face and a, a, a blue uh, background in blue and purple tones to sort of convey the comfortable feeling. And I have an oil painting, a tiny little salad called Crisp, uh, my first oil painting, so I'm really happy I made it to the art show today. One of them I called Cage, and it's a heart, like a realistic heart, and in the background there are chains. And it's kind of like symbolic for emotional, like, you know, when you're not able to express your emotions and you're kind of more confined rather than being outspoken. This piece was a self-portrait and we were assigned to um, make a self-portrait that used words in it, that incorporated words somehow. So I decided to use printmaking and I made a stamp and I repeated the words in the background. And basically it's dealing with how um, like, even though people say negative things about me, I'm still strong and it doesn't affect me. The artwork remains to impress, but there is a key factor the teachers are looking for in their students. If they have a great work ethic, you'll see that their skill level just grows. So it doesn't really matter whether or not they think they're artistic or not. Um, just I take them where they're at and I think all, of our, all the teachers in the district, is if they have the work ethic and they're willing to put the time in, you'll see each year um, they just grow, 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 grow. So with their hard work and artistic nature, the high school art students delivered an awe-inspiring showcase. For About Town, this is Susan Kamyab reporting.